hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video my name is sarah wells i'm a port Harcourt based photographer port Harcourt is a city here in nigeria welcome thanks for stopping by to watch my video if you're a new subscriber i love you guys if this is not your first time watching my videos thanks for stopping by again so guys today's video i'm going to be talking about what you need to think about what you need to factor in when you're planning for a photo shoot both as a photographer and as a client. So if you want to know my thoughts on this, keep watching guys. Okay guys, um, like I said in the intro, yeah, we're going to be talking about what you should consider, what you should factor in mind when you're preparing for a photo shoot. So as a photographer, a client calls you up, I want to do a photo shoot with you, what's your pricing like, and then you send all that details, and the client says, okay, I'm booking a date, 12th of January, 2022, and then, yeah, you've booked your date, and you've agreed on the date for the shoot. So what next? Most times, some brands, some photography brands, do the whole booking online, and I'd advise that you should take, pick up your phone and call the person so you can have that initial connection with the person even before the person comes to your space, to your studio, or before you meet the person. So there should be that connection. Then as a client, you have decided you want to do your 40th birthday shoot or your 25th birthday shoot. You want to have a photo shoot, yeah? You need to look for a photographer that you resonate well with, that you like the person's, maybe you like the person's style of photography, or you just like what the person stands for. Look for somebody that you connect well with. You need to connect with the photographer. That's the only way you can give it your best. If you don't like the person, you don't like what the person stands for, chances are that you might just not even like your pictures. So look for somebody that you already resonate well with and try as much as possible to make a conscious effort to connect with the person. If you have that initial connection with your client and with your photographer, the, the, the shoot will be seamless. Trust me, yeah. So that's point number one. Okay, so on to point number two. Plan your outfits together if it's possible. If if it's possible, sometimes you've already gotten your outfits before you you could get to find the photographer you want. But if it's possible, that's why we're doing this video so you know this ahead of time. If it's possible, you should plan your outfits together or at least tell your photographer what you want to wear. Your photographer should ask to see your outfits before the day of the shoot. It's it tends to prepare the photographer mentally for what is ahead and then you two you you can communicate what you want and the vision for the shoot with the photographer so it's important both of you are in sync so the photographer should know what you're wearing ahead of time and if it's possible for you to get a stylist for the shoot that would be awesome if you have a stylist that can tell you what and what to wear a lot of clients don't really know what to wear they have the money but they don't know how to pair the outfits they don't know what to wear to get the very awesome picture. So if you can get a stylist, that would be awesome. And even if you don't have a stylist, a lot of photographers have the ideas. At least they know what and what will work for your body type or for the vibe you're going for. So yeah, communicate outfits, talk about it, plan together. Okay, so now onto the third point. Try to get into your client's head as a photographer. Um, that sounds really bogus, but what I mean is try to understand the vision that the client has. Some people have the vibe they want. They may, they may okay, like I shoot different, I shoot like very soft, I shoot, um, I, I have like different vibes on my page. So a client might be coming with, I want, I want flowing fabric, and I may not know that, and I will see the outfit and just feel, no, I just want this vibe, and then both of us are not in sync, and the client will not be satisfied at the end of the day. So try to get into the client's head, what kind of pictures do you like? Screenshot pictures from my page, from other photographers, and show me so that I, I can get into your head to understand the vibe that the client wants. So that's very important. And as a client, so make sure you communicate the vibe that you want for your photo shoot to your photographer. Look for pictures. You should have like a lookbook. Look for ideas all over and send to your photographer. So the photographer too would now know the vibe you want. You're not necessarily going to copy what you're sending to the person. You're not going to do it verbatim, but you're just trying to make the photographer understand the vibe you want for your photo shoot. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, so that's point number three, yeah? On to point number four. So point number four, show up on time. This applies to both the photographer and the client. There's nothing that ruins the whole experience like late coming now if as a photographer your client gets to the studio before you the client is already pissed 
and then as a client to you come in for the shoot two hours after your agreed time the photographer is already not happy and then the energy is already kind of ruined i had to decline a shoot some some weeks ago i did a refund because i felt disrespected the client did not show up on time she missed her initial appointment and then she rescheduled and then she came like two hours later i just did a refund i just didn't because i knew the energy was already off i was already upset because she had come she, she disrespected my time and I, it was off so i just knew i couldn't i wasn't going to connect well and give her my best so i had to do a refund so it's very important for you to show up on time both as a photographer and as a client try as much as possible to to schedule a time that works for both of you if you agree that you don't agree to 8 a.m. booking if you know that you cannot be available by 8 a.m. You have kids, you know you want to do makeup, you want to do your hair. You can Don't agree that, okay, 8 o'clock, and then you know that it's not possible. It's not humanly possible to be ready, hair, makeup, everything by 8 o'clock. So there's no need to agree to that. Work with a time frame that works for both of you. So if it's a 12 o'clock shoot, try to make sure you, you are up by 7. Do your nails, do your hair, do whatever you need to do before the time allotted for the shoot. So yeah, very, very important. Make sure you both show up on time so everybody is happy, the, 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 the mood is good, the energy is good. Not that one person is upset, the other person has kept this one waiting. And then work with professional vendors, your hair, makeup artists, everybody should know how to keep the time. It's very important. It can really ruin the, the, the energy and there's nothing as annoying as when you're shooting and the energy is off. You don't get the best results. When the, the energy is awesome, everything just flows. The vendors, everybody is in sync. The, 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 the shoot is just awesome. So it's very important. Try to keep the time, both as a photographer and as a client. Yeah. So on to the final point here. Um, this is basically for photographers. Try as much as possible to boost the self-confidence of your clients. Make them feel comfortable. Make them feel beautiful. I photograph women a lot. and. I know that every woman wants to hear that she's beautiful, so make a conscious effort to tell her she's beautiful. Make a conscious effort to compliment her. Her hair is nice, her makeup is nice. Make a conscious effort to compliment her. If there's something not right about her look, look for a way to fix it. There are times when I've had to practically style the hair of my clients because I noticed my client wasn't happy, she wasn't going to give me her best. She was not confident and I'm not like a hairstylist, but I had to look for a way to just get her to be comfortable and confident. So try as much as possible to get your clients to have that self-confidence. Then they'll give you their best. You'll just see that the aura around them is, is a lot better. And then as much as possible, listen to them. Listen to their complaints. If they're taking the photos, they come in and say, I don't like this backdrop. Listen to what they're saying. Yeah, try to communicate with them. This is the backdrop I'm using, but by the time I'm done editing, it's going to have a different vibe. Just try to be patient with them, listen to them. Don't just be too rigid. Try as much as possible to, to hear them. And then if a woman is, is conscious of her weight, I feel I'm, I'm on the big side, I don't like the side of my face. Listen to her and shoot the side of her face she likes. Pose her in a way that she, she's, she's more, she's flattered. You don't, you don't showcase the sides that she doesn't want people to see. If she's conscious of her arms, try to pose her in a way that the arms are not like all in your face. So just try to listen and connect and give your best. So these are the tips I decided to share with you guys today. Um, if you have any other tips that can help as a photographer or that can help a client planning a shoot, please don't, don't hesitate to comment down below. Thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to my channel, like, share my video. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. If you have questions relating to photography, um, faith, business, and everything I stand for, don't hesitate to ask. You can send me a DM. You can send me an email. Yeah. And then please follow me on Instagram at Photoville Nigeria, Photoville Babies, and Sarah Amaki Wells. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.